for it here. Round number two. Let's go. Going up against the Zeus. So. I could just want to hard mulligan everything. If I'm going first, I really want to turn one play. Like, Surtur's really strong, but. I want to find a Chaos Spawn. I want to find a Scion. I want to find Hunter Sigil, obviously. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's what I like to see, baby. So I'm going to be in range of at least one of these. One, two, three, four. One, two. So within two of here and here. So one, two, three. Nope. One, two. And one, two. And then one, three. So move you. Of course, it'll probably be used to remove, so I'm actually okay. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, here and here, one. Both hit there. You one, two. See, so yeah, I'm o I'm okay with this. My hunter sigil. Um, do I want to move Frey out? Yeah, I think I do. Sounds like a plan, Stan. We got a frenzy too, which is really hot. This might be one of the few times we play Scuddy on three instead of on four. Marksman. Hello, buddy. Oh, shoot. I'm not out of range of a Zeus. Oh, you didn't clear it. Oh, Bog Champ. Let's go. I should have played in. So I can kill the marksman, <laughs> which is really tempting. Um, by summoning, I would probably summon a soul. Then I have three turn four plays. <laughs> turn five plays, then a little sketch. Do I want to trade in one of my one ones though? Then I'm just getting another one one on board, really. And that one's more effective from hand. So I do want to trade in one of my 1-1s one on board. And that one's kind of out of position anyway, so we're chilling. 1, 2. So then that one's out of range of the stun. Is there any way to come up top and hit it? No. Okay, well, I think either way, you are dying. Sure, you can run up that way. Then actually we can play the Scotty here. Pretty good. So my turn four play is most likely gonna be frenzy. And I've got one unit out of range, right? But this is four. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Nemesis, my Scotty, please. I have your mirrors in this deck, bro. And this is a mid-range deck, so if I am forced to, I can I can live with that from that. Okay. So I push damage now. I could also just remove the marksman. But then it does mean my Scotty dies. I could also call her charge. Call her charge and then soul. So then I can kill the Nim, then I have a 3-1. A hmm. And then I can deal one damage to stone and kill that. I'd probably kill it with uh, this guy. Actually, I like that better. Bot. It's okay. We're good. I still kind of want to keep these guys out of range. Um, 
but obviously I'm not gonna whack this. So then my only real question is do I need to go up and shoot the stone? I think the answer is no. It's worth more damage from from back there. So I can frenzy from here. Divine Intervention is such a great turn for me then because if we're f him, do oh, double Divine Intervention. It means he's going to have a play next turn. He's going to have a five mana play. Uh, it's probably going to be Hades, right? Hades or Emil? Probably Hades. So don't group up for Hades, basically. I think I frenzy this turn every time, right? So I've got three... Six. Actually, got five. Five, eight. Which means you go down here. So you're killing this. With oh shoot! No, because it can't get to anything else. Which means souls moving up. Oh, I, I misplayed that pretty hard. It's okay, we're fine. We'll hold. No, I should have kept that one back. And then hit it with the four as well, putting it at one HP. I can call her Scotty next turn, or I can web of word vanish. Web of word vanish is probably more likely. Because he's probably going to play something big. It's really slow for me, but I should be able to kill a stone. And I don't think he can remove anything. Like Nim Judgment, but I've got two health minions on board, the so we're chilling. Oh, Arachne. Okay. My soul's gonna be so good against his Arachne. Wish I'd use Surger. Okay, well, I think I just pushed base damage, right? Um. And then play VDK. What can he kill on board easily? So he's gonna kill one of my Scotties, but my Calder's still going to be alive, so I guarantee do 3 damage. So I think, I think I'll just do this, because when I kill it with... I should have banished the Arachne, I guess. Hades would actually be okay for me. What would be bad? I'm not sure what would, if anything, would lose me the game at this point. We still win, right? So he kill he kills the Scotty, which means I have a two two that does three damage. This little fucker's out of range. <laughs> That's who I wanted to see. So you bite the stone. You vanish. The stone. I 
can't stay out of range of Zeus. Please, unfortunate. Since I think it's correct, then just to. Do one damage to Arachne? Or does this apply to him? Well, I mean, regardless, that's happening. So then do I kill the 1-1, one, one, or do I put the... I, I kill the 1-1, one, one, right? I think I always kill the 1-1. One, one. Another uh, Athena would kind of ruin me. But I think I'd still win just because of the Loki. Because, like, this is <laughs> this is an 8-attack Loki. <laughs> And I can kill the stone from anywhere on the map. So I'm pretty sure I just win, like straight up. I don't think he has any outs. Because he can't kill my stones. It's going to take too long. His best, his only out, I think, is to completely surround his summoning stone and body block it. a stone of Gaia on a 4-1. Alright. It's a pog champ value though. I could play the weaker Loki first. I bring the start of a new Ragnarok. Let's see if he body blocks it. You can put him there. Him there. He moves forward. I think he. Well, the Athena can. No, the Athena is going to get two movement. That's right. So if he moves his Scylla. Ooh, you can't stun me! <laughs> is he actually going to let me win? Just be so pog champ that lets me win. Oh, he's going to let me win. He let me win! He let me fucking win! Let's go! Let's. <laughs> Can't attack the Loki because he's in stealth. He's like, literally, all he has to do is fully body block the stone for the rest of the game. And my Lokis can't get to it. Wait, what? Does his teleport have range now? This is awkward. Alright, well we kill the portal. And you play... The Loki. <laughs> which has 8 attack this time. And then you play the Freya. I think he should have just traded the Athena on it. Kept the Scylla on board. And Scylla's ranged. Yeah, he could have just moved the Scylla away. <laughs> Kissing the Athena doesn't do anything. He needs to kiss the stone. I don't know if he knows he can. Well, if it is ranged, I'm in range now. So we're good. Now Unless he moves his own. He didn't kiss the stone either. This is a game in this place, dude. Good rip. Alright, we kill her. 
since when can't we target the stone? Let's think about this. We got 10 mana. I kind of want to play PDK. Silencing doesn't matter at the moment. Starter is damage from hand. So I should web avoid BDK, right? Or should I just banish BDK? Which I think banish is better. Which then means... Do I not play anything when it's from hand? Both of these are kind of more useful from hand. I kind of want the body. There's definitely things we can silence. So this will give him something in CS to remove. And he's only got four attack on board. Shall be my that's fine. I shouldn't have grouped up for it, but that's okay. Doesn't mean the server dies, but yeah, I shouldn't have grouped up for it. Do I ever play around the one Athena? I do. Chaos Bond silence the BDK. Part of them needed to be. Should have won that a lot sooner. But. 